These are the answers and the times you'll find them in the listening. The listening track I've taken the timings from is available in the website link now above my head. The track number for this exercise is also now above my head. To explain why the answers are the answers, I'll tell you the part of the listening which directly relates to the answer. Hopefully, you'll very quickly see how the vocabulary in the question connects to the clips from the listening. So make sure you've got your course book open at the right page now. I'm going to be moving through the questions quickly, so please pause the video and rewind it as many times as you wish to make sure you understand exactly what I'm talking about. If, however, you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch through the contact form. OK, let's go. For question one, the answer is B, making a spontaneous decision, because speaker one uses a phrase to say exactly that. I did the quiz on the spur of the moment. For question two, the answer is C, having no other option, because speaker two says, they said I had to do a personality test. For question three, the answer is F, being easily tempted by questionnaires, because speaker three says, I'm a real sucker. In other words, I'm easily tempted by, I'm a real sucker for quizzes and personality tests. For question four, the answer is A, wanting to learn more about personality testing, because speaker four says, I've always wanted to get to the bottom of how these tests work, so I went along. Get to the bottom, of course, means find out about something. For question five, the answer is D, wanting someone else's opinion about a problem, because speaker five says, I decided to see if one of those life coaches could get to the bottom of whatever was going wrong. For question six, the answer is F, concerned because they revealed a mismatch, because speaker one says, well, there was a huge discrepancy between my results and Charlie's. Some of his answers really had me worried. For question seven, the answer is D, indignant because they seem to be unjustified. And that's because speaker two says, I've never felt so insulted in my life. Me, not handle pressure? For question eight, the answer is C, amazed at their accuracy. Because speaker three says, when I read the results, I could hardly believe it. This is the bit that connects to being amazed. It continues, my attitudes, my worries, my problems with my partner, my work habits, it was all absolutely spot on. In other words, correct. For question nine, the answer is E, unhappy about they were, the way that they were obtained, because speaker four says, they ought to have told us what was going on, it's not ethical. For question 10, the answer is A, uncertain about their implications, and that's because speaker five says, I'm not sure I'm going to like having my translations picked to pieces by others.